Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So our wind instrument stopped working yesterday. We're not sure why, but Lee's gonna go up the mast and have a look, see if he can work it out. And he's gonna take you guys with him. So off you go, up the mast. All right, guys, a beautiful day here in Moratai, but as we're coming in yesterday, we had about, uh, not a lot, probably only about 15 knots of wind and my wind instrument stopped working. So I put on the bosun's chair, got my safety lines here, I pretty much clip on the whole way. I pretty much clip this on as I go up the mast and wherever I stop. I got Bella here on this one. A lot of trust there with Bella pulling me up. You look trustworthy guys, some would say, I trust her. This is where we're going today, up to the very top to the wind instrument. I actually should have been up there earlier because we had some crows land on our backup wind instrument. I'll straighten that up while I'm up there and I've no idea what I'm looking for on this. I can't even remember when I did install this about five years ago so I'm not sure if it's just the fixed wire straight through or whether there's a connection up top that's corroded but have a quick look, do a bit of a rig inspection. That's the morning workout. Look at this bloody view before I even start. This is Moritai in the background over there. All right, this is the little fella here. The actual speed uh, side of it's working. Uh, just not the indicator itself, so I think I'm just going to unscrew it and have a look. I've brought some cleaner up with me. There's no corrosion at all, that looks hard to see, but it looks like brand new there. Oh well, that's my backup one now. Our friends swim out to see us, to say hello. Indonesia, bagus! Jumpa, jumpa. <laughs> We're back where we had Bella's birthday. We we're just stopping here. We're going to go to a town that's close by. It's got some World War II relics and we'd like to go see it. Um, Lee's just up the mast today, just fixing our broken wind instrument. Checking out what's going on up there. And uh, I think I'm going to have a swim. It's pretty beautiful here. Yeah, this is uh, the island of Dodola. And it's one of the most beautiful beaches in Indonesia. The sandbank between the two islands. A lot of uh, Indonesian tourists come in here and have holidays and mostly day trips come out and or a boat trip and come out and take photos. Bye bye! <laughs> nice to meet you! So 
so it's been a while since I've come up here. I'm just going to check out all our swages, make sure there's no cracks or anything along here. I'll check all around here. It's usually the bottoms where the water sits down below, but nevertheless, I'll check out all the fittings and just have a look around. It's all very old, so just have a little look around and see how we go. little masthead light really needs to be um, up a bit higher it gets shadowed by the mast but no have a look at that later what a morning workout rewarded by a bloody beautiful view blue sky clear water lots of islands this is the one we're going to go and explore later apparently there's a lot of world war wreck remains over here a lot of history on that island. working again. I don't know what I did but I just unclipped it, tightened it back up, had an inspection of it and it's fine. Who knows, one of those mysteries. Could be on its way out still though. We'll see what happens over the next few days. Who would paint their mask black? One of the previous owners of Catalpa painted it black and you know the result in that? Black hands, that's the result in that. So everybody else is going over to town today. Um, we are at a little town at the bottom of Maratai. And apparently there's a museum, World War II relics and maybe some other cool stuff over there. Um, but I've stayed behind because I've got some videos that I need to get uploaded and one I need to finish. So I'm editing, everybody's gone ashore. They've taken cameras. Let's hope they film guys so you can go see what they get up to. So we're in Maratai and we're going to see a World War II museum. A window you can go and he's there. Imagine a hand game out. That would, <laughs> that would be creepy. I don't know. Oh, it's either just it's really heavy, heavy or it's locked. We're gonna get in here somehow. <laughs> yep. Do you reckon? I don't want to see what's in those windows. Maybe there's a lower one. Oh, look, there's a hat. Oh, that's cool. That's like the things that's in the submarine with the torch that comes oh, in. Oh yeah. I just want to see. Oh, this one opens. Oh, that opens. Oh, there's seats in there. Is there? Yeah. That's really dark. Mm -hmm. This is uh, some tanks that we've oh, come across. Oh, cool. In there. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it is locked. Is this like the real ones they got? Really yeah. Look old. You going in there, Liam? What else opens? <laughs> I'll go in there. I'm gonna go in there. Okay, we're climbing on it. Now we can go in. Oh, is it wrapping? There's not really anything in it. I mean, you can climb in. You could if you wanted to. 
Are you going to Ali? But I don't like really in it. Oh, I think the best one for you to cool? go into is It's pretty cool. Oh, whoa. Oh, you got that looks like a bee holder. It's like, <laughs> it does. you put your drink? Look at the seat. Oh, yeah. It yeah. looks like a oh, real. Oh, yeah. I want to go in. I think you should. When are you ever going to sit in a tank? I know. <laughs> I feel like we should. Okay. So, what are you doing, Bella? No, I don't know. Climbing in a tank. If there are any rats, please just don't come out. No, bro. We're so. No, right. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. This one? Do you want to get in this thing? I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. I think you're right. If he's already seen you, you should be good. Yeah, I'll climb up. I've got a gun. Bella. You should go, Bella. Oh my gosh, it's like it's really rusty, but you'll be good. Maybe if Liam goes, Liam, you want to go in first? I'll go. He's in that tank. <laughs> There's I'll like go. a migraine grain packet. Someone was chilling in there. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> I don't want to break into the dark abyss. I'm sure you won't break anything. I'm Just worry about, about yourself. <laughs> Never climbed up on top of a <laughs> historical thing before. <laughs> <laughs> we're rebels. We've had Sit in the little chair, Liam. To do it. There's, a little oh, there's a rat. There's a rat. What? I'm joking. I'm joking. Liam would freak out. Imagine a grenade. A grenade. Is this doing something? <laughs> It's hot. Someone Imagine go, like the lid the shut, you'd be dying. <laughs> oh yeah. No, someone goes in the front and drives. Wasn't doing anything. Can you get in the front? Yeah, I don't think there's any other hatches. There's a light on this. No. I don't. I think it's just really seized up. Yeah, probably. You're lucky. Taj is trying to lock you in there, Bella. <laughs> not closing. Someone... It's really not moving. But no. their face there. Oh, you protected? Is it? Can you look through there? Oh, I, this does, I think this you do. There's no no, you can't. To open this <laughs> You're like, I want to open this thing, one. But it won't. Salim's going to try. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, ready? Set. Oh. Yeah. It's coming. We're ready. Set. I don't think you can get in, in it anyway. The steering wheel might. Here you go. Sure you don't do it. We got that door open. Ah! Oh, that's tanks. Yeah. Pretty solid. That's the name. Storage. Storage for gun tanks. Hang on a second. I feel like I have the tires off. I feel like this one's going to be really hot because it's in the sun. Oh, yeah. Like, go to the Oh, that looks cool. Oh. <laughs> so we're inside one of the tankers now. It's very dark. Oh, is Liam going to be down in it? Yeah. He's sitting in the dark. Is he really? <laughs> it's a spinker. I have no idea. I reckon. Radio? Oh, radio. What are these shelves for? Look, I, I can lock Do you reckon it was like a transport? Oh, it moves out. Ooh. Could you not stand? If you're like in here for days, it's like boiling. Do you reckon it was like can transport a, stuff? A look out. Yeah, there's another seat down there. There are lots of switches. I don't know much about these army vehicles, but I do know they are definitely not made for comfort. Obviously, they were made for war, but man, it must have been a tough time in here back in the day. Oh, look, this is where you'd like the gun. Do you not realize that? Oh. And now, yeah. <gasps> We're in. We're walking from the World War II thing now to a cafe.
Join us next time as we share some of the history from here in World War II and meet a guy that set up his own museum with relics he dug up himself out of the ground here in Moratai. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.